48. Uh, let's move along to the KUAM News Zoom Room where we have, uh, he's the owner of Live House and the Shady Lady. And uh, he's also got a, let me get this right, Thomas, he came out uh, to Guam, F&B director Dusitani. Yes, Trace. Uh, half a day. Good morning. Uh, good yes, morning. I, uh, had a, I had about a 20, 22 year hotel career and uh, you know, I lived in several different countries. I worked in Scotland, Germany, in my native Austria, uh, came to the States seven years of New York City, California, and then Guam for the last six years. Right. And so we saw this. Uh, what do we have that flyer? I don't know if we do. We, yeah. We, yeah. So we, the country. Yeah, no, <laughs> the constitutional yeah, rights process. Yeah, let me just uh, build this up a little bit for you, uh, Thomas. So this uh, protest happening this afternoon, uh, 4.30. I think you're starting at Akunta Mall. And is it a March uh, type thing? Where are you guys going to be going from Akunta Mall to where? Uh, over to the uh, former Outrigger Hotel, uh, the intersection. Um, you know, just to clarify, you know, I, I wasn't the one organizing. However, I'm in great support of... Uh, the event, you know, uh, for for the many reasons we have already touched earlier, and right. uh, you, you know, I appreciate you and your support there. Um, you know, people people should express themselves, you know, for for many reasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so, who's organizing this? Yeah, because Who, who's organizing uh, this? You know what? I I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the answer. So, how did you find out about really it then? Know. You know, uh, you know, social media and uh, you know, chat groups and and so forth and. And and I, I believe it's okay, you know. I mean, every people do it for for uh, different reasons, right? I mean, some do it for freedom of speech, or like you mentioned, the bicycles earlier, or uh, others do it, such as myself. I do it for uh, the support of the small uh, business community that has so far uh, totally failed. Right. Mm -hmm. So then, share share your story and how. Um, You've been impacted by COVID, and how these diff the the P core the changes in the P core have uh, affected uh, Live yeah. House and uh, Shady Lady. Sure, you know I want to keep it simple. Basically, we are at day one hundred and fifty-five now, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, you know, uh, uh, every business, uh, and I'm not speaking of the loss of revenue and sales, but every business is creating cost per day which, uh, you know, if you break down your monthly rent into 30 days, if you break down your ABC licenses, uh, which is yearly, uh, divided by 365 days, you know, you will come up with a number, a daily cost that you have no matter what. And for me, this is about $300 a day, um, roughly, uh, that I have to pay and that I do not get back from anyone. So $300 a day, and you do the math, time that by 155 days, and uh, not knowing how long it's gonna uh, go on and how long it's gonna continue, it's, it, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, Thomas, what do you say to those uh, people? Because man, the comments are going crazy. We have one here. They should make some signs saying we have a right to catch Corona and pass it to the whole island. Other people are saying, why are you gonna do a protest when we had 87 positives uh, yesterday? So obviously the, the right to freedom of yeah. speech, uh, we get it, right, uh, totally. But how do you uh, balance, not just the, the protests and not even the protests, but some of the things that uh, I'm pretty sure you're advocating for a reopening of, of businesses. So how do you balance what you're advocating with that whole argument that yeah. we see from people about keeping the island safe? Of course, you know, we, we you know, I, I believe that uh, small business owners, especially, are sometimes being portrayed as uh, uh, out of touch or, or, or you know, a certain level of arrogance or so. But look, we, we are humans. We're people. We have family. You know, we have children. We have uh, elderly parents. You know, actually, I myself, you know, I had a, a, a death in the family at the very beginning, uh, beginning of May, uh, and it was related to COVID. It was off island, you know. Um, but uh, it was a very sad time. But you know, um, it, it, and and it's and it's and it's uh, tragic. You know, every every uh, life that is or every family that is impacted from losing losing a loved one is it's terrible. Um, obviously, you know, we we have been uh, trusted to run businesses. We have been inspected by public health. We have given we've been given the A grade for uh, uh, complying with the rules and the regulations uh, uh, to operate safely, you know, safely for ourselves, for our employees, for our customers. And with that being said, uh, you know, uh, 
we need to carry on. You know, <laughs> unfortunately, the virus is now a deep, deep part of us uh, in so many, so many ways. I believe in 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 in, in every way that we possibly can imagine the virus is a, as a part of us. And, you know, we see that in North America, we see that in South America, we see that in Europe, in Asia and Pacific. Um, and uh, we need to find safe ways to uh, continue our lives. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, quite interesting, Tris, if, if I, I was listening in earlier with all the, the senators and the elected uh, uh, officials, you know, they're all paycheck receivers, period. You know, they are paycheck receivers and, uh, you know, uh, ha having a little fun in the morning show and, uh, you, you know, and, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take until November until we uh, read finally page 35 of the budget. And, you know, it's, I mean, it's easy talk, right? While, while a large uh, portion of the population, uh, such as ourselves, uh, are being left alone without any help. Mm -hmm. Tom, have you uh, seen the governor's letter? that she wrote i uh, you know what i i i've seen uh, uh quite a few posts mm -hmm. lately uh, you so know, i'm, I'm just gonna read a portion of it and then just see if it uh, ask for your response um on tuesday august 25th those who disagree with my stay-at-home order and other steps i have taken to slow the spread of covid19 and save lives will gather in protest and while that is their right as individuals, remember that freedom is guaranteed, at least in part, by those who've taken on extraordinary responsibilities in this time of crisis. Nurses and paramedics, guardsmen and grocers, cashiers and physicians, they all are at work so you can stay home. And then she writes some other stuff, but she goes on to say, I issued a stay-at-home order because it is the quickest, most effective way experts know to slow the spread of this virus and save lives. Without that, our economy will be just as sick as our people. I understand that some of you desire knowing all this will place your desire to protest above all else and you will gather anyway. I ask that you do it safely and know that it will use every tool available to me so that no one has to die for your right to do it. No, absolutely. It needs to be done safely and, uh, you know, peacefully, of course, respectfully. You know, we, we live in, an, in, in a small uh, environment, you know, we we all know each other one or the other way and uh, you know we it, it uh, the protest is good as uh, governor mentioned you know and uh, again peacefully respectfully uh, keep the six feet apart or make it more or wear your mask i will wear my mask for sure um it, look the, the bigger question is in our health system we now know is uh is is vulnerable you know we know that the amount of beds that we have available for intensive care may not be enough you know i'm sure we're learning from this and increasing it going forward um uh, will the economy uh, be uh, affected more well you know if we keep closing down and like i said yeah, every business has a, a daily cost attached a, a, a price tag okay. attached you know uh, yeah you, you will hurt uh, the island further further more by by not reopening and mm -hmm. uh, Again, you know, with a two-week uh, closed lockdown, or even if it may end up being two months of a lockdown, again, the virus will not go away. You know, so uh, look, Chris, Sabrina, I, I personally, I tell you one thing: I do not mind staying at home for the next two years, but someone needs to pay the bills. As simple as that. Right. Thomas, let's ask you then uh, if you guys uh, and other small business owners that are uh, in support of uh, this cause, if you guys could have your way, you just would what want to reopen 100%? Uh, look, uh, it, it could be uh, again a, a percentage that is being set for opening. You know, uh, uh, Chris. You know, when we had the uh, fifty percent occupancy load and we were able to open at fifty percent. Uh, please don't think that all the businesses had those 50% maxed out. No, you know, it's a long, long recovery, you mm -hmm. know, and it's, it's in the people's minds, you know, it's, it's a certain mindset that we have been taking on now uh, by uh, hearing it over and over uh, for the past six months. And, you know, many people are uh, afraid, sure. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not disagreeing, you know, if, uh, Everyone has to find his way, his or her way to, to deal with it, right? And uh, it is, what I'm saying is it's a long recovery plan. You know, even mm -hmm. if you give us 100% uh, occupancy load, 
it, it won't be 100%. Right. It's interesting because you, you seem to uh, kind of acknowledge and grasp the public health side of it. So. Uh, appreciate it, right, right. Yeah. Look, you know uh, you know we are we are in compliance you know mm -hmm. we, we would uh, we, we want to do the things appropriately correctly you know and 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 follow the rules you know uh, right. uh, some of us have been inspected and we're told uh, they need to fix a few things in their operation and so they did right so mm -hmm. we're here to do the right thing so uh, Thomas what about those uh, reports we heard from the government about the the spread of the virus and you know not to single out the bars but they did say the bars and also the social gatherings and the funerals so what would you say to those critics who, who said hey you guys had your chance and people weren't following the rules and regs we saw the covid and that's why we're shut down well you, you know you know until now we haven't heard one single bar that uh, uh was uh, traced back to uh, with 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 an outbreak or uh, a cluster of uh of cases, right? So you know, the, 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 I mean, we have heard everything from gas stations to supermarkets mm -hmm. to restaurants. But however, we're still missing uh, that uh, name of the the magic bar that uh, caused all the trouble. So you know, I, I just want to make sure that people know there is a nightlife on Guam. You know, Guam uh, operates twenty four seven pretty much. You know, and uh, uh, there is a large portion of us that uh, uh, that are in hospitality and in the bar and restaurant industry obviously, uh, besides the hotels. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, the, please do not forget there is a Guam at night, and we are a Guam at night. And, uh, you know, we want to be able to operate and uh, earn a living and uh, uh, be able to do what we know to do best, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like I used to say, not everyone is a politician, a doctor, a lawyer. You know, there are people that... Uh, have studied hospitality or hotel management or restaurant mm -hmm. management or are chefs, you know, have culinary degrees. So let them do what they do best. Right. Uh, uh, Tom, you, you, how many people are you expecting to, to show up? You said you, you're not the organizer, but you're in, involved in different uh, chat groups and what have you. So how many yeah. people are you expecting? Oh, you know, that's a good, I have no idea. Uh, look, I, as long as it's been done, again, peacefully, uh, safely, respectfully, and uh, according to the, to, to the mandates, you know, I, I hope as many as possible, you know. Um, again, I may, if I may, I reach out one more time back and, uh, you know, we, we, small businesses, right? We founded this uh, group, uh, Chris. Uh, it's called, you can find it on www.guboc.org, G-U-B-O-C.org. And it's basically a group that, uh, it, it's, it's non-government uh, affiliated, but it's a group that uh, helps along small businesses, you know. And, uh, you know, we have uh, gotten a lot of uh, feedback and a lot of uh, phone calls and we reached out. You know, we were very active meeting with people and explaining. And look, there are many small moms and pops and little business owners that, are totally lost and uh, don't know how to pay their rents, you know, don't know how to uh, continue. So, you know, we are there to support and there are ways to support, you know, we are about to uh, uh, be at the Attorney General Office of Guam very shortly with uh, with the claim. So, uh, look, uh, you know, we don't want to be uh, left alone and left behind, you know, mm. the, the EIDL programs, the PPP programs, the Guam grant programs, that we did receive or some of us partially received uh, are long being absorbed. Uh, you know, SBA loans carry high interest rates and so forth. So, you know, it, it's, it's very, very difficult for the small business community right now. Did you, I'm sorry, but did you just say that a complaint is going to be filed with the attorney general's office? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, actually, uh, it's a government claim. You know, everyone can file a government claim oh, in one or the other. Uh, typically, it's uh, used for you know traffic uh, or accidents or, or road road hazards or so forth. Uh, you know, yes, you know, we 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 we're, we're trying to do it within within the, the legal limits, and right, uh, right. we we see where we can go from there. Hopefully, someone understands us and hears us, hears our our, our worries, uh, because ultimately, what what we are trying to do is make as many small businesses survive on Guam. Right. So once 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 that this uh, virus is over and we can kind of go back into normal, we we have many survivors uh, uh, economically mm -hmm. and financially. Right, uh, Tom. Just real quick, uh, a fellow small business owner Jesse uh, comments here: small businesses are hurting. We are all hurting. 
We know the issues, but what are you suggesting we do? Do you have another plan that will allow the economy to build up while at the same time decreasing the number of infected? Look, uh, it, it, of course, uh, this is very difficult. You know, uh, uh, we need to get the, the smartest people together that are uh, uh, into business and uh, and uh, uh, discuss, you know, uh, dis discuss it uh, professionally and see uh, what else can be done. You know, can 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 the community support itself? You know, do we have to have people come in from abroad with uh, ongoing flights? You know, uh, can we? are we why are we not able to conceal it at, at the very beginning you know did we make too many exceptions at the airports you know did the flight attendants not wear masks when they came in you know were, were there special uh was there special treatment for some and not and not others i myself actually was in quarantine four days at the uh, days in and 10 days at the pacific star uh with one of the very first flights uh coming in from manila but um um you know uh, uh, difficult, you know. I, I, uh, other countries struggle. You know, I'm I'm watching news uh, internationally from other places around the world. Everyone struggles. You know, tax relief is one thing. You know, maybe taking care of their fees. You know, as I said, uh, uh, to to respond to uh, the person um, commenting, you know, you know. Look, uh, every every business pays. I know it's a small amount and it seems very tiny, but it's a hundred dollars for a business license, but uh, per year. But then there is another two hundred sixty dollars for a sanitary permit per year. It's a piece of paper without any um, anything attached to it. Uh, there is a liquor license, which is $1,000 a year. So you have all these expenses that keep adding up, keep adding up to someone who has already been taken everything. So uh, reimbursing those monies uh, and maybe uh, giving an extra year, uh, 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 yeah, complimentary, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, to, to make sure we, uh, those businesses don't go under. It would be just a small start, absolutely. Thomas, thank you so much for your time, man. I, I, I enjoyed listening to your uh, points. Again, that protest, uh, 4.30? 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Well, I, hope, I hope to see you guys there safely. Send us some yes. pics, uh, Thomas, if you can. Yeah, are they going to be live streaming? Yeah, I don't know. We'll, I'll find out. Yeah, I appreciate uh, again, uh, Thomas uh, Pineop of the Shady Lady. And uh, can you also just post Live that House. link that you had, you'd mentioned in that website in the comments? Absolutely, oh. yeah. Gubok dot org. Absolutely. I'll send that, it to you. Did you say G U B O C? Is it G U B O C dot org? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you, Chris. Wash your hands. Be safe. Stay home till four. <laughs> Eight oh seven, guys. We're KUAM FM. I got you, Guam. Uh, good morning to our viewers on KUAM TV 11. Yes, TV yes. 11. Hi, thank you. KUAM FM. I got Guam.